Hello everybody, this is Steroid Unicorn here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today I'm going to show you guys how to do item slot prioritization in Minecraft. So, um, what I mean by this is if you have two different types of arrows in vanilla Minecraft, uh, just in survival, uh, it will pick whichever item is prioritized in your inventory. So if you put a regular arrow uh, before the spectral arrow, it will fire the regular arrow, and if you do vice versa, it'll fire the spectra arrow, spectral arrow, uh, as you can see here. So if I go like that, you can see now I have 62 arrows and 63 spectral arrows. If I swap them, you can see it fires the spectral arrow. Um, so we're that's all well and good. That's in the game already. But uh, what I'm talking about is, let's say you want to, with a data pack or with commands, uh, you want to have a carrot on a stick that acts like a bow or acts like a gun or something like that. Um, then you can have two different types of ammunition. Uh, like here I have a Scud missile and an AK-47 uh, ammo. And then you can, uh, let's say you, you want to right click with it and then fire whichever one has priority in your inventory. Uh, anywhere in your inventory by the way and these work anywhere in your inventory as well so let's say you put them up here uh, and then you swap them like this you want the first one to be the one that fires uh, so how we can do that is uh, let, let's go back over to this chest over here and uh, let's put away all this and let's go data get entity at s right um, so we can see all of our data if we do that um, and as you can see down near the bottom here you have inventory at the very bottom inventory and then you have slot and it tells you the slot number right here uh, so you can actually access that number with uh, commands and you can specify which item you want it to be as well so uh, you can have the ID arrow or you can have the display name uh, determining which item you want to go with uh, so let's uh, let's go over to Visual Studio Code and I will show you guys how you can do that in a data pack all right guys so we are in our data pack now um, so we have our init function and our main function at the top here uh, and then we just have a function uh, slot main which slot is the name of our data pack and it will run our main function here from our init uh, and then our schedule uh, command up at the top here will basically just run the main function every second after it's been started. Um, so you can obviously make that faster if you want to do one tick. That's basically 20 times a second. Uh, but I'm just going to do one uh, every second for now. Um, so in our init function, we're going to go scoreboard, objectives, add. Um, we're going to do slot and dummy uh, so we're gonna make a new scoreboard called slot and that's going to be tell us what uh, inventory slot each item that we're trying to determine is in uh, so in our main function here uh, we can do these two commands uh, so you only really need the one so let's just focus on the one so let, let's go execute store result score so that basically means uh, you're executing a command, uh, you're storing the results of what comes after the execute command uh, in a score. Um, so that's basically what that those first four words mean. And then uh, item one is the name of the, uh, the fake player basically in the scoreboard. So it's going to be uh, item one and then the scoreboard is called slot. We just made that in our init uh, function and then we're going to run a command. And that command we're going to run is going to be data get entity, which we just did in game. I just showed you guys how you can do that. Uh, we're gonna, just going to use at P for now. Uh, you probably are going to want to use at S or something like that. You can do execute as, like you can go execute as, whoops, I got caps lock on, uh, at A. And then you can do some kind of criteria in here, like scores or something like that. Uh, but for now... Um, I'm just going to do at P. Uh, so you got data, get entity, at P, uh, inventory. So this is the first criteria. So you can 
kind of narrow down what you want to uh, access in the data get entity command. So uh, if you just do data get entity at p, it will give you all of the data that is in that player. Uh, but if you go data get entity inventory, it will only get what's in the inventory. And uh, if we go to Minecraft, we can test that out right here. Uh, we can do see if we got data get entity at s. Uh, and then if we type inventory, you can see that it only comes up with the data of the items in my inventory instead of all this other stuff. Um, and you can narrow it down even more. So if you want to access uh, one of the specific items, um, I want to go by the name because it want, I want it to be one of the two custom items that I have in the inventory. Uh, I can do this part right here and uh, as you can see it matches up if we look uh, so it's inventory and then you've got a square bracket and a curly brace and as you can see we've got in our uh, data pack we've got inventory square brace curly brace and then uh, we've got tag which is down here uh, so we want to overlook everything else we want tag uh, we want display name so you basically type it out exactly as it is in uh, the data get entity command and then you put that in here um, and then you put dot slot so what the dot slot means is you're looking for which slot it's in so right here is slot colon 4b so if you put dot slot it'll look for the 4 um, and as you can see if we go copy this command right here and go inside here you can see that it will tell us steroid unicorn has the following data for B which is just the slot number it'll tell you just the slot number um, so with that we're storing that inside of a score so this first part of the command is going to store the slot number in a score and then uh, we've got a second command here so this is going to score it in or uh, store it in item two uh, that's the second fake player name and then it's going to do the exact same thing but for the other custom item name uh, so if we run this we should have two different uh, fake players on the scoreboard so if we just go reload so as you can see it's showing four and six on the side which should be this right here this should be a uh, slot four and this should be slot six um, because it starts at zero so it goes zero one two three four and it will be in slot four and now let's say we want to move this to the middle of our inventory here you can see item one is now in slot 21 and you can put it back here it's in slot zero you can move this one and it goes to slot 16 um, and basically with that you can determine which one is higher which score is higher in the side here and whichever one's higher you can execute a different command or a different function based on that all right so let's see what we can do with this i think you guys can probably imagine what you can do with it if you have any experience with commands and uh, manipulating scores and stuff like that but uh, i'll give you an example of how it can be used so uh, i have two i have three commands down here that are commented out um but basically what they do so I'll, I'll bring them back in um basically what they do is execute as at a uh, so you're executing as any player uh if score item one in the score slot uh is less than item two in the score slot uh and if my my score so the player score uh if their click score matches one or more so uh actually yeah we should add scoreboard objectives add uh, click uh, minecraft dot uh, I believe used minecraft uh, and I believe it's dot carrot on a stick right so if we add that that will uh, add us um, one to the click score every time we right click with a carrot on a stick uh, so let's save that and then we'll go back here um, so yeah we're executing as the player if item one is less than item two uh then and if we have a click score of one or more then we clear the arrow named scud missile uh we clear one of them and then we have another command underneath that's basically the opposite it's if item one is greater than item two 
uh, and our click score matches one, then we clear uh, the AK-47 ammo. So, uh, and then we just have scoreboard player set at a click zero at the bottom, so it resets. Um, so if we go into Minecraft here and we reload, um, we have our carrot on a stick here, and you can see if we right click, it will take away one of the prioritized ammo. So we have the AK-47, and if we take the Scud missile and put it here, it will remove that one. And you can do that anywhere in the inventory. If we go up here, we can right click a couple times, and you can see that this one is going down. If we swap them, then the other one goes down. So uh, yeah, it's fairly simple, but I mean, knowing how to do the data get entity and manipulate uh, how to get into the different slots can be complicated for sure. Um, but I hope I helped you guys out and you guys can do some fun stuff with this. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and do all the other awesome things you guys do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.